Hello guys. All right, on this episode, uh, well, one of the things that we're gonna address is the suspension. We can now go past upgrading the suspension on this package, I'm going through all this work and effort. We want the car to drive and handle like it's supposed to, better than it's supposed to. So what we've got here is a set of BC Racing Callovers. These are um, very popular here in Australia. Um, they have been, we've seen great successes in time attack, in drifting, they're very popular. So we're very lucky that these are available for our size. We are running the 45 mil struts on these from, from the factory. So it's just, yeah, easy, convenient, um, and should be a great upgrade. So one of the, one of the other things that we're gonna be upgrading is just upgrade the tired bore joints, um, the bushings as well, we're gonna be replacing them. And as you can see, this is the factory unit. So it's looking a bit tired and, and worn. So someone's gone through the effort at one, one stage to try and improve the suspension and stance of the vehicle. But yeah, this one cut it for what we're trying to do here. So just some very straightforward but light modifications is we've got to cut the tube down and insert the other one over and weld it onto the hub itself. So we've done quite a few of them, so it's, um, it's no dramas there. In the rear, so this is what goes in the rear, just a shock and spring with an adjustable base. I know that there are some suspension kits for the rear where you can fit shock and spring in the same unit, one piece. I personally don't recommend it without having to reinforce the whole rear end to take the weight of the car. So it's just easy and convenient. And look, there's no really performance, any performance gains by going single. So this is just very uh, straightforward. So yeah, guys, so I think, yeah, this is a must. For what, for what you're trying to achieve. If you want the power with the car, you've got to have the suspension and braking to, to suit. So one of the other things that we're gonna do is the braking system, which we'll show you later on another episode. Um, so yeah. So strip the right back, give it a clean. Clean up the coating that's on there so we can weld it on. Um, we weld these 20 mil off the base. So we want to weld it onto this tube here. So this fits um, nice and snug in there. And we want to weld it here. We don't want to weld it at the bottom because it doesn't, it doesn't quite go all the way flush to the bottom. And so we don't wanna, we won't be able to get a nice clean weld here. And we don't wanna be trimming this to the shape of that. It just adds, it just makes things a bit com more complicated. So we'll do 20, 20 mil of that. We can get it nice and straight. The weld, it's not gonna pull by welding in in between gaps. So we can get a nice neat weld there all the way around. And then we'll do the other one. Tiny spot left there that I've got to try and get to. Alright, so that's it, that's one done.
All right, guys, so that's it. That's what it looks like finished. All nice and neat. We pack the bearings with some fresh grease. And that is it. Now, while we're here, I'll show you. This is the brake system that we're going to be putting on with the package. So we've got our, we've got our custom hats here. So we'll go there. Our discs. And then our wheel wheel calipers. So we've got a custom bracket, a mountain bracket for this to go onto the factory hubs. And custom braided lines. So once it's um, all this is ready to go, we are currently doing the board joints in the lower control lines. So once we have it all together, we'll show you guys how it all looks, goes together and how it looks. Okay. All right guys, so these have been stripped back, cleaned and painted. Um, we've inspected the board joints. These look like they were replaced not that long ago. So we are leaving these, they're in very good condition. But we are gonna replace the outer ones. I've already done one here, and I'll show you how we do the, the other one. That's it. We're also going to be getting some super pro bushes just to complement the call of this. These do a lot for your steering response. If you feel like your steering is a little bit laggy when, whenever you turn it, just, just feels a little bit lazy. These actually do quite a lot. So, okay, we'll show you how these go in. I'll show you guys something with these bushes. See how we've got a slot on either side here? So it depends on how you feed these. These are meant to be there just to, to soften up the harshness of these bushes in a way. So you have the option of feeding them crosswise like that which that would be softer. Or if you put them up like this, that would be as hard as, as this bush will be. So, my option is go hard or go home. <laughs> I'll show you why in a second. Once I have it in there, I'll show you why um, I said what I just said, and I'll show you how the, the lower control arm actually works under load. So that's it. Do the other one. Alright, so I'll pop these into the lower control arms and I'll show you how it works. Alrighty, so I'll show you what I meant about this bush and the positioning. Okay, so just with the positioning of the bush. Now look, it's not gonna make huge of a difference. You're, this is already a big upgrade, no matter which position you're, you put them in. 
but since we are trying to improve the steering response and and just the suspension response overall we might as well go all the way okay so the purpose of this bush here if you come on this side the the, the purpose is to keep the wheel in center in in reference to the obviously to to the to the car so this one right here just stops movement of the wheel forward and back okay there is very little load on this bush up and down it's all in and out that way because it pivots on the engine cross member right here on the in our ball joint okay so the, picture yourself under braking the wheel with the friction to the ground wants to pull back and because you're pivoting on the inner ball joint here this wants to go in so if you didn't have this and all you were relying on this part here as soon as you press the brake the wheel will hit the back of the car sorry the back of the wheel arch so that's that's the job of this push so under braking th this will improve the response and the fuel under the pedal it will um, improve it dramatically but also on the cornering whenever you take a corner because this is as well it's, it's a little bit offset to the inner ball joint there is load on on this push in and out so your steering response as soon as you touch it the wheel wants to turn instead of instead of feeling um, the laziness of the factory bushy as soon as you will turn this will flex before the car actually starts to make a move so by making this a lot more solid the power gets transmitted straight to the wheels and straight to the ground so yeah that's our that's the theory behind the the two little slots on the bush but like i said it's, a, it's already a big improvement from factory so it doesn't really matter which way you do it but since they're giving us the option we're choosing the stiffer option. So, that's it.